Welcome to Dancing with Tech. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. And yes, you read it right. So, this phone will be a giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe. And once I reach those 5,000 subscribers, then one of you guys will be a lucky winner of this beautiful, gorgeous phone. So just read more details for the description below. All right, so let's get to the main event. So now when you get this box, my first net, my first reaction was, wow, a bit plain box. You know, I thought it would be something a little more, I don't know, like exciting because this phone was very expensive. I'm talking about $1,300 some change. Oh yeah, I already cut open because I used a struggle. So I went here, cheated a little bit and just cut open. But anyways, but when you open this box, you are immediately greeted with this beautiful 6.9 Quad HD Dynamic AMOLED 2X Affinity Old Display Screen. This bad boy is nearly bezel-less. I mean, look at it. Like, nearly bezel-less. Well, I guess you could find, I guess you could see more when I, I turn the phone on. But man, it's so beautiful perfect as far as look wise and i like how it feels too it's like really really durable so you know i like how it feels in my hand you know it, it does it feels like it has a lot of quality you know it feels expensive so let's see what's inside here uh so well looks like you got your semi injection tool and let's see what else they here we see got a whole bunch of instructions. You, know. uh, you got your clip reference guy, you know, rise and stuff, whatever. Yeah, I just feel like there's a whole bunch of unnecessary paperwork. You know, I think Samsung really should consider like condensing on that paperwork. You know, this is like for a special phone like the Z Flip because you have to have like oh yeah you can't do this with this phone whatever but these phones right here you know i think it's unnecessary we're trying to save some trees right then you got your samsung paper and then you see your super fast charger and this is not the 45 watt this is actually a 25 watt brick for your wall outlet unfortunately it doesn't come with a 45 brick wall outlet you know, it would have been nice for Samsung to like, you know what I'm saying? Since we're deep in, deep into your pockets, we're going to dig deep into our proper pockets and give you guys a 45-watt battery charger. Anyways, whatever. And, I don't know what this is. And then you got this. Oh, okay. So, these are the AKG headset. And you can actually use this like a dongle. And you know, it's still kind of use it, listen to your stuff. This phone doesn't have no headphone jack, but it's all good because most people don't, you know, really use them like that. I know, like, my main phone still has a head jack, headphone jack. I'm talking about a Note 9. I like that phone, it's really nice. Don't hate. And then you got your US, USB C type cable, the important stuff. And you got this. All right, so let's look at the phone. So, this camera, man, like, this, this camera is pretty big, like, I saw pictures of it, but I didn't think it was gonna be that big, you know, like, I don't know, I don't think it's a bad look, if you ask me, I mean, it's pretty, I don't know, it's pretty big, it's a little nice and stuff, um, I don't have nothing to say about it, you know, I, I think it's nice and smooth, yeah, it's nice and smooth, yeah. So I think it's a good design. A lot of people don't like the design of it, but you know, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Kind of remind me, remind me of my big toe. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this phone on and I'm going to pause the video and get everything set up as soon as I figure out how to turn the phone on. So I'll be right back. So just chill out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Okay, welcome back. So now I got this phone all set up and you know, let me see, I'm gonna swipe it. I didn't set up the cell phone reader yet, the finger reader. You know, I just didn't feel like doing it right now. But I mean, it's pretty fast, you know, in my opinion. You know, everything looks pretty good. The camera looks nice and stuff. I mean, the camera's pretty nice. Now, let me say, like, with this phone right here, this phone comes with Snapdragon 865 12 plus gigabytes of RAM. And the storage, now the storage range from 128 to 258 to 512, depending what versions uh, you have. So, and it also has a micro SD storage which is right here, and it could take up to one terabyte of room. There we go. Now, with these cameras and stuff, can you guys see? Now, with these cameras, um, now this camera is like it's 12 me megapixel ultra wide. Then you have 108 megapixel wide angle, and then you have 48 megapixel telephoto, and then you have your TOF which is a sensor time of flight sensor. And then you have your stabilization with a PD sensor, uh, phrase detection, and with this big old number right here, let's see, if you guys can see, I hope you guys see it. You got your 100 times zoom space. So I heard rumors that this thing could see the craters of the moon. So, you know, I will be taking, you know, I'll be, I will be definitely taking that to the test. And you guys, I will let you guys know if it's true. Because I love space, I love the moon. So we're going to find out how true that rumor is. Now, let's look at this fingerprint. You know, uh, you go to settings. You go to detection. Let me see. Now, let's look at the fingerprint reading. So you got your biometrics, security patch. Oh, of course, got to update. Okay. So, fingerprints. So, looks like I say quick, easy, a way to unlock your phone, verify yourself, and apps. Your fingerprint data is secured by Knox. So, we're going to just do this really quick. And uh, secure. let's do the pin number. One second. this so so you got your fingerprint reader it's gonna read my fingerprints pick the finger up I like how you could tell because you could feel like the vibrate so it's like it's really a finger um, print and this is an ultrasonic sonic fingerprint reader Change position your finger slightly. Okay, so this is getting very detailed. I like that. Keep doing this. Keep doing this. I'm gonna turn the phone around. Look at this. It's almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Full. I'll reposition your finger each time I catch the edges. Alright, so okay, continue. So this might get weird. I might do this. Alright, done. I'm not gonna I'm gonna just add one fingerprint. Alright, so this um lock this phone. pretty fast like it's a response i like that you know um I, I like i like what i'm seeing so far with this phone um now this phone also is ip68 water resistance 
and it's waterproof to a certain degree, you know, and it also had a NFC plus MST, and it also comes with Android 10 with one UI too. So, current, I'm not gonna do my current location right now. We don't need that, right, folks? So, you know, my impression on this phone so far, I mean, I, I like it. I like it so far. I mean, it's definitely a fingerprint um, catcher because my fingerprints are already on here. You know, I'm gonna keep the plaids on because, you know, like I said, you know, I don't see no need taking off right now until I get me a case. Um, yeah, my uh, impression on it so far, I mean, it's nice. You know, I'm gonna do some uh, visuals and stuff of it, take some pictures on it, and, you know, just look at different things about this phone. But, you know, it's responsive. You know, responsive, pretty quick. Um, it needs to be charged up, of course. But it's pretty quick, though. Um, do I think it's worth, uh, just like looking at it, based on what I know about it, is it worth the $1,300 and some change or whatever? Or maybe you trade your phone in and got, got a little more cheaper? I don't know. I don't know yet. Because my opinion, I think if you're going to spend that tech money on the phone, it needs to be able to do some of everything. But, I mean, look at it. The bezels and stuff. I mean, it's nice. It's nice. Let's go to the end of the browser. Now... It's, I mean, like, the bezels. Oof, man. It, this, this is nice. This is nice. Um, Make sure you guys, like I said, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. It's called Dancing with Tech. Just hit the like button. That's all you got to do. And subscribe. That's all you got to do. You know, I'm trying to get some support for this channel. So, you know, just, you know, just hit me up. Send a comment, got any questions, you know, feel free to ask me. I don't mind answering questions. I'll try to get back with you as soon as possible. But like I said, like, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, this is a pretty nice phone. I like it. I don't have nothing to say about it, you know. I don't know about you guys, but, you know, get back with me in a little while, and I'll tell you if I think it's worth it. I ain't going to do some tests on and play with it. And just kind of see what else it's gonna do but like i said right now you know this is you know just the unboxing and like i said as far as the camera lens and stuff like that you know it looks pretty solid so make sure you guys get back with me once again i'm dancing with tech and please please don't forget to subscribe hit notification bell and like it 